This is Ray Bradbury. Join me for the next 30 minutes on a tour through time and space. Come along to the far future. Follow me into a strange past with stories that almost could be or might have been. Real or unreal, this is Bradbury 13. The lions were coming now. Fifteen feet away, then ten, then five. They were so real that you could feel the prickling fur on your hand, and the yellow of them was in your eyes like the yellow of an exquisite French tapestry, and the sound of the matted lion lungs exhaling on the silent noontide and the smell of meat from the panting, dripping mouths. Ray Bradbury's The Velt. George! George, is it ready? Yes. The electrician's just left. <laughs> it's all ready. Let's go inside. Oh, no. Wait, wait. Don't go in yet. Let me call the children. Right. Uh, Peter! Wendy! They'll love it. <laughs> sure, I know. I know you don't like fish. Yeah. Fish is one thing, and fishing is something else. It's all stinky. Girls don't understand. Dad and I'll catch whoppers. Won't we, Dad? Dad? Hmm? Fishing. Loon Lake? Loon Lake? You remember. You said we were going fishing on Loon Lake today. Oh, that's right. I did. I've just been so busy. I'll get it. Yes? Mr. Hadley? Yes? There's been a special board meeting call for 11 o'clock. Today? We've sent the helicopter to pick you up. Well, I... All right. Uh, thanks. I'll be ready. Oh, I'm sorry, Peter. Peter, I know you wanted... Yeah, they own me, don't they? Uh, we'll go fishing next week. Sure, Dad. Now, it's not so bad. Here's the new playroom, all finished and ready to play in. That's right. You kids don't know how lucky you are. Step up to the door. Go on. <laughs> See? It opens by itself. Go on, Wendy. Take a look. Is this all there is? It's just a big, empty room. Aha. It only looks empty. It's a machine, but even more than a machine watch. Hear it? Dimensional, super reactionary, holographics, order of phonics, and sonics. <laughs> Still looks empty to me. Ah, you think so? All right, now watch this. <clears throat> Playroom. Let there be light. <laughs> Paris. The blue hour of twilight. You see it? Yes, yes. The gold hour of sunset. Oh. An Eiffel Tower, please, of bronze. Oh. There. An Arc de Triomphe of shining brass. It's beautiful. Let fountains toss forth fiery lava. Oh. There. <laughs> Throw pennies in the fountain. Make a wish. Ah, uh, enough of Paris. Egypt now. Shape pyramids of white hot stone. <laughs> Carve sphinx from ancient sand and wind. Do you see, children? Come on closer. Don't stand back there. Uh, all right. Enough. Be gone. There. Well, what do you think, kids? It's great. Great? It's a miracle, that's what it is. There's a giant's eye, a giant's ear, a giant's brain in every one of those walls that remembers every city, 
Every town, hill, mountain, ocean, every language. All the music in the world. And all in three dimensions. <laughs> Name anything. The room will hear and obey. You sound like a salesman. <laughs> oh, <laughs> do what? <laughs> well, no harm. Must be the melodrama in my blood. <laughs> Go on, kids. Try it. Peter, come on, try it. Oh, there's my helicopter. Your briefcase is behind the couch. Where? Oh, come on, I'll get it for you. Yeah. Goodbye, kids. Peter? Wendy? Not even a thanks? Thanks a lot, Dad. Yeah, thanks. Honey, come on, you'll be late. Try out the room, kids. to ask for? I do. Show me Loon Lake. What? I didn't hear you. The room did. Look! It's a lake. Loon Lake where Dad and I go. The water's so blue. It's like the sky turned upside down. And there's a boat coming toward us. Hey, it's you and Dad. Hey, it is. Now we've stopped. The lines are out fishing. Hey, I've caught a big one. See? <laughs> it's beautiful, all right. I'll say that's the biggest one I... Oh, it slipped off the line. But that isn't... The boat. It's going away. The fog's coming up. I can hardly see the boat now. It's gone. You and Dad are gone. Bring him back, Peter. I can't. Try. Come back. Come back, please! It's no use. The room won't listen. You're not trying hard enough. Come back! Come back! Come back! Peter? Wendy, what's going on? Nothing. Oh. Have you tried Mexico yet? The instructions say the most wonderful things about the Aztec ruins down there. The time is... 11 o'clock. Oh, I've got to rush. I'll be at Mrs. Morgan's till 11.30 and then Mrs. Harrison's at noon. We'll be shopping until 3 o'clock. The table will feed you at 12.15. Eat, both of you. At 1 o'clock, do your music tapes with violin and piano. I've written the schedule on the electric board. Sure, Mom, sure. Have fun and don't forget Bombay India while you're at it. I won't forget. Peter, what is it? Now. Now. Do it now. Peter! Now. Four. Four. Peter, stop it! What are you cooking? <laughs> oh my God. I'm not cooking anything. I'm just watching. Oh? The kitchen is making a pot roast, I think. You think? Well, sometimes this kitchen is, uh, well, selfish. Oh, Lydia. No, I mean it. Sometimes I think it'd be happy if I stayed out, stayed away completely, and let it work. <laughs> now you're being silly. Maybe. George, I want you to take a look at the playroom. Look at it? Is it broken? Lydia, we've only had it eight weeks. How oh, could it... it's not broken, exactly. Well, look at it first, and then you tell me. Fair enough. Lead on, Macduff. Oh, it's 
so hot. It's Africa, isn't it? Yes. The Veltlands. Let's get out of the sun. You're starting to sweat, aren't you? Yeah, I am. It's perfect, isn't it? The perfect illusion. What's perfect about it? Lydia, is there a child in the world who hasn't wanted to go to Africa? High blue skies, horizons a billion miles off in the dust, the smell of pulverized honeybees and cloves and cinnamon, a lush smell. Smell it. Yes. Hi there. Must be a water hole nearby, Buana. Ah, <laughs> oh, Lydia. It's perfect. Perfect. That sun's hot. I'm really sweating now. <laughs> George, you're missing the point. Look. What? The vultures? Ugh. Filthy creatures. Is that what worries you? No. That's what worries me. The lions? Yes, the lions. I don't like having lions in the house. Well, they're not exactly in the house. I wonder what they're up to. They're on their way to the water hole. They've just been feeding. Looks like a zebra or baby giraffe i imagine are you sure well it's a bit late to be sure of anything we've been feeding for quite a while the vultures are getting what's left george on our way down the hall just now did you did you hear a scream from in here a scream a scream <laughs> what are you talking about i don't know i oh forget it it's just that the lions won't go away. The room has stayed this way for a month. Every day the lions killing and leaving their bloody tracks through the trees, killing and gorging over and over. The kids love Africa, like all kids do. George, George, the lions are getting closer. Just coming over to pay their respects. Not so close. Lydia, you're not afraid. It's, it's just that they're so real. Yes. Very real. Listen to them. Lydia! Lydia, come back! Lydia, wait! <laughs> oh. There. Nice and safe. George, they almost <laughs> got us. Oh, it's machinery. <laughs> Electronics, sonics, visuals, that's all. I'm afraid, all right? I'm afraid! What do you want me to do? Tell Peter and Wendy no more Africa. It's got to stop. Okay, okay, I'll talk to them. I mean it. Lay down the law. I've tried to talk to them every day for a month, but they just walk away from me into Africa. I'll tell them. I'll lock the playroom up like I did a few weeks ago. Do you remember that night? <laughs> they hated me for that. And they'll hate you again. Well, let them. It's only natural to hate your father when he punishes you. But they don't say a word. They just stare at you. And day by day, the playroom gets hotter, and the veld gets wider and more desolate. Who could that be? Hello? Dad, we won't be home for supper. We're at the automation show across town. Wendy, what's that on your blouse? Oh, just some ice cream. Now listen, I think... Gotta go! No hello, no goodbyes, no pleases, no thank yous. Well, come on. Let's eat. Wait. H have you felt the playroom door? Felt it? Yes, touch it. it trembles as if a, a huge bake oven were breathing against it. It's just the African sun. The lions. Well, they can't come out. Can they? Can they? Of course not. Come on. George? George, are you in the living room? I couldn't sleep. 
I'm waiting up for the kids. They're not home yet? I'll be right down. No, 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 don't bother. Go back to sleep. I'll be right up. I just want to check on something first. Still there, are you? What are you waiting for? Why don't you go away? Go away, go on. Let's have Paris. London, Cairo. Go, get out, get out. Let's have Alibaba and the 40 Thieves. Alice in Wonderland. That is right. The room is out of order. Or is it? It's broken, isn't oh. it? Oh, George! Oh. Oh, I didn't hear you come oh. in. What are you doing with that candle? Well, I guess I thought there wouldn't be any electricity out here. The room is out of order. It won't respond. Or it can't respond. Maybe Peter said it. I'll call a repairman in the morning. No. Call our psychiatrist. Dave McLean? Yes, Dave. And lock the playroom. Tonight! Come on. Wait a minute. What's this? What? What? I don't know. I just picked it up. It looks like leather. That's my old wallet. What's happened to it? Looks like it's been run through a machine. Or else it's been chewed. These are teeth marks. Oh, don't be silly. Those are... Some sort of sprocket marks. And this dark stuff? That looks like chocolate. Does it? It's blood. <laughs> Awfully nice of you to come by so early, David. <laughs> no bother, really, if... If you'll uh, give me my breakfast, I'll fix it myself. I mean, I'll push all the right buttons. <laughs> Here's the room. I thought you'd want to examine it yourself. Yes, yes, I would. The children got into it early this morning after I locked it up. I let them stay so they could form patterns for you to see. That's fine. There it is. That's the sound Lydia heard. I'll be in the kitchen if you need me. Who's there? Dave McLean. Are you a repairman? Uh, no, not not exactly. Dave McLean. I know you. Do you read the bumps on people's heads? <laughs> I wish it were that simple. Right now, I'm here to see what you and your sister have written on the walls of this room. But we... Oh, I see what you mean. Are you always dishonest? <laughs> People know when you lie. No, they don't. And you know why? They're not listening. They only hear themselves. So you might as well lie. You really believe that? I thought everyone did. I have to clean the room now. If you don't mind, I'd prefer it the way it is. Go ahead. All right. Let's see what this room's made of. I've never seen anything like it. More coffee? No, no, no. It was actually 
blood dripping from the walls. How long has this been going on? About a month. George, my advice to you is to have the whole room torn down and your, your children sent to me for treatment. Treatment? Yes, for at least a year. But you're the one who told us to build that playroom. When I told you to build that room, it was because the record of playrooms in the past was exceptionally good. Ninety-nine cases out of a hundred, it works. Children use the rooms, parents observe the blueprints marked on the walls, everyone's happy. Uh, but in this case... This case? I'm afraid the rooms become a channel toward destructive thoughts rather than a release away from them. George, Lydia, your children hate you. Hate us? We're their parents. Oh, you really? Look at yourselves. What kind of life do you lead? Machines make your beds shine your shoes. They blow your noses for you. Machines ventilate your house. They drive you down the street at 90 miles an hour. They lift you straight up into the air, always away and away from your children. We've given them the best life we know how. You've given them machines. I call on the phone, and a machine answers and says you're not here. How long's it been since you got out of your house and walked with your children and talked to them and listened to them? I don't know. You and Lydia haven't been around. You let this house, this playroom, become their mother and father. Even more important than their real parents. And you've threatened to shut it off. No wonder there's hatred here. What can we do? Make a clean break. You want us to switch off the room? The room, the house, everything. Take the children and leave for a while. But the shop... Do it, George. Yes. You're right. And I've got to do it now. George! George, let me get the children out of there first. Peter, Wendy. Dad? You're not shutting off this room. Go in the other room for a while. Go on. I won't let you do it. Peter, get away from that panel. No, George. Hold on, George. Don't let the children here. No, George, no. Now get out of the way. George! Don't call me George. You here? You can't shut it off. It won't let you. Well, we'll see about that. You! You killed them! I hate you! I wish you were dead! Come on. What are you doing now? I'm locking the playroom. That was badly handled. It's done. Now, turn off the stoves, the voice clocks, the TVs, the body scrubbers, the bed makers, everything. Oh, George? Huh? Are you awake? We can sleep. It's after midnight. Oh, I know. Listen... The house is so still. It used to hum all the time under its breath. Yeah. I felt so strange, shutting everything off tonight. For a while there, the whole place felt like a cemetery. We'll adjust. The children will forgive us eventually. There's no way for them to tamper with the room, is there? What could they do? Anyway, there's a lot of electricity in the walls. They know better than to mess with it. I am so glad we're leaving tomorrow. Yeah. It'll be great in the mountains, fishing. Dave said he'd be by first thing in the morning with his helicopter to take us up there himself. Oh. Good old Dave. What is it? Listen. Listen. Mother, father, come help us. The children. They must have broken into the playroom. Peter. Wendy. Here. We're down here. Kids, we're coming. Children, Peter! Wendy! Peter! Wendy! Where are they? I don't know. Peter! Wendy! Oh, George. It's Africa again. The sun, the vultures. I've seen oh. enough. I... That crazy door, it's not supposed to... 
It's locked! Oh, it can't be! There's no way for it to lock itself! No, there isn't. Peter! Wendy! Oh, George! The lions! Kids, open up! Kids! Are you open up? I know you're out there! George! They see us! Oh, it's all right! They're just walls, Lydia, walls! Kids, unlock this door! George, the lions! Lydia, it's an illusion! No. Children, they are frightening your mother! Come on, open oh. up, you hear? Oh, George, they're running! Peter! Oh, George! Those screams we heard, those screams were us! You and me, George! You and me! Kids, open this oh. door! George! Lydia! Hello? Anyone here? Peter! Wendy, what? Oh, Mr. McLean. We're just having a picnic. Oh, don't worry, them. They're feeding. A cup of tea? <laughs> the Velt was adapted from the story by Ray Bradbury. Featured in the cast were Ivan Crossland, Janet Swenson, Mark Alston, Jennifer Kuhlman, and Neil Barth. Original music by Roger Hoffman and Greg Hansen. Production assistant was Patrick Mee. Associate producer was Jeff Rader. Bradbury 13 was created, produced, and directed by Mike McDonough. Executive producer was Dean Van Eytert. This is Paul Fries speaking. <laughs>